Hello class R. There's a little clue. This week we are doing all about pirates. So the story I'm going to start with is the pirates are coming. That's a good one. Are you ready? Are you sitting comfortably? Hmm. Every day, Tom climbed to the top of the hill to watch for pirates. It had been a long time since anybody had seen them, but Tom knew that they were going to come back. So he waited, and he waited, and he waited until at last he saw, what do you think? A ship. Can you see the silhouette? Sort of shadow of a ship. shouted Tom. Pirates are coming! Ding dong, ding dong! Quick, everybody hide! shouts Tom. And as quick as a flash, everybody hid. Have a little look, see how many people you can see. They waited, and they waited, and they waited, until It was clear there were no pirates, just a little fishing boat bobbing up and down. Tom, said the villagers, that's not even a ship, just a boat. Never mind, Tom, said his dad. Just remember, pirate ships are big. Tom knew it was very important to keep watching, so the next day he went back up to the hill. And again, he waited. And he waited and waited until he saw a ship, a big ship. Pirates! shouted Tom. The pirates are coming, the pirates are coming. Quick, everybody hide. Ding dong, ding dong. And again, everybody hid. And they waited. There's a pig and a little girl. And waited. Somebody in the cabbages. And waited somebody under a boat until it was very clear that there were still no pirates. Just a rusty old steamboat chugging back to shore. Tom, said the villagers, that's the slowest ship we have ever seen. Never mind Tom, said his dad. Just remember pirate ships are big and they are fast. Tom knew someone had to keep watching. So the next day he went back up to the hill and he waited and he waited and waited until at last he saw a ship, a big ship, a big fast ship. <gasps> pirates! shouted Tom. Pirates are coming, pirates are coming. Quick, everybody hide. Ding dong, ding dong. And once again, but uh, not as quickly this time, everybody hid. Can you see them all? And they all waited and they waited until... Do you think they're going to be pirates this time? It was very clear that they definitely were no pirates. It was just a big merchant ship sailing back to the dock. Tom, said the villagers, that's not a pirate ship. Never mind, Tom, said his dad gently. Just remember, pirate ships are big and fast and they have a special flag on them. <sighs> when Tom slowly trudged up the hill the next day, he took with him his favourite book, some crayons and his teddy and got ready for a long wait. But suddenly he saw a ship, a big ship. A big fast ship. A big fast ship with a special pirate flag. <gasps> pirates! yelled Tom, running into the village, but nobody hid. Not even his dad. Hmm. Why do you think this time nobody's hid? 
Now the last two times he shouted pirates, or was it three? There actually were no pirates. It was a false alarm. Perhaps now they just don't believe him. Do you think it's pirates? Hmm. Meanwhile, so at the very same time, the pirate ship sailed silently into the harbour. The gangplank fell with a thud and the pirate captain ran ashore with the pirate clue, crew close behind. Nobody heard the pirates as they climbed the steps to the village. Nobody heard them as they made their way down the narrow streets. They really are pirates. And they've crept ashore. Until... Squawk! Screeched the captain's parrot. Pirates are coming! Gasped the villagers. And this time, just in time, everybody hid. Can you spot their hiding places? Hmm? That's a very clever place to hide. Is that a pelican's mouth? Someone in a barrel and some rope? What do you think is going to happen next? Moments later, the pirates marched into the square. Where is everybody? growled the pirate captain. And there's their special pirate flag with their skull and crossbone symbol. Can you see? Then suddenly, surprise! Everyone shouts, welcome home, shouts the visitors. Welcome home? Surprise? What do you think's happened? Have a look. Can you see the pirates? And the villagers? I've missed you, son, said the pirate captain. I missed you more, said Tom. I've missed you, son. So who does that make the pirate captain? Tom's... Mum! Welcome home, Mum! So it must have been a pirate village. Tom's mum was a pirate, so he knew she was coming back. And he kept his eye out, not because he thought they were going to attack, but everybody wanted to surprise them when they came home. What a super story. Now, I've got a challenge for you. The problem was, every time Tom thought he saw a pirate ship, it wasn't. It instead was a different kind of boat or a different kind of ship because it didn't have the pirate's flag on it. Here's the big pirate's flag. And they often use kind of scary symbols or dark colours to look fierce and mean so other boats would see them and look scared. So I had a go at designing my own pirate flag. Would you like to see it? Ta-da! This is my pirate flag. If I was Captain Bird on a pirate ship, this is the flag that I would fly on my ship. Now I've used a big cross of bones look a bit scary and also I quite like X as if I was a captain because it means that's where the treasure's going to be and on top instead of a skull I decided I was going to be a really good pirate with lots of treasure so I've drawn a chest full of golden coins so there's my pirate flag that I designed and now I'm going to write a sentence about it I'm going to do a super sentence with the word and make it a bit longer so I'm going to think of two things about my pirate flag my flag has a cross and a chest. That's what I'm going to write. My flag has a cross and a chest. And you can help me write it. I've got my board over here. Move that over. I've got a pen. I've got a sound mat. But I've actually lost a tricky tower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write two words on the board and you're going to help me work out which one I need. 
There are two tricky words on my board and I want to write about my pirate flag. Which one do we think says my? Because the other one says me, but I need my. It's this one. Is that what you thought? If you did, well done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use it right at the top. My. My new word. Flag. Flag has got a blend at the beginning. There are two sounds that make a fl blend. I need fl, 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 fl. fl. My flag. My flag has new word. My flag has a easy peasy word. Now I'm definitely going to make sure I write it correctly all around the apple, down the leaf. My flag has a cross. Cross has got a blend at the beginning. There are two sounds that help make the k. Now it's a k and a r. Which k sound do we usually use at the beginning of a word? This one. So I'm going to write, turn around the caterpillar, down the robot, round his arm. My flag has a k Now sometimes you just need the same letter twice to make the sound. So I'm going to use both of them because that's what I need in cross. My flag has a cross and, I'm playing a bit more, a d is that right? And a n. Oh, I've done a d sound. I need to make sure I get it the right way around. Round his bottom, up his long neck, down to his feet. Round his bottom, up his long neck, down to his feet. That's better. My flag has a cross and a chest. Chop up chest. One is ch. This one. I've got to make sure I get them the right way around, otherwise it won't make the right sound. Letter C. Letter H. Ch. Chest. Ch. Chest. Ch. S. Last sound in chest. And a full stop, just a dot to finish. You read it back with me. My flag has a cross, cross and a chest. Chest. My pirate flag has a cross and a chest. After having heard this story, why don't you have a go at making your own pirate flag and then see if you can write a sentence about it.